Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing the Asian Readathon TBR that I'm going to be doing sort of. I apologize if I'm not as uh, upbeat. It's been a time. And also I can't remember how to record. So here we go. This is the second year of Asian Readathon. I am super excited. I need to get back into reading because in the month of April alone I read one book. So I kind of need to get on this. The first thing that we are going to do is a, read a book by an Asian author. We're going to be doing The Heart Forger by Rin Chepeko. I know that there has been some things about Rin Chepeko recently, and if you are one of those who gave any of Chepeko's books one star, please unsubscribe to me, go away, we are not talking to each other anymore. I love The Bone Witch, and this is coming from an Asian perspective, if you will. Please go read The Bone Witch. Um, if if you need a recommendation from an Asian person, me being the Asian, go read Rin Chupeko's stuff. Uh, go read The Bone Witch. I mean, I can't imagine that The Heart Forger is going to be that bad, so please, please go do the thing. I would have given it five stars if it weren't for a couple of things, but it is almost a five star book for me. Please go read The Bone Witch. The Heart Forger is also going to cover the third prompt, which is feature an Asian character or an Asian author who is different from you. Rin Chupeko is Filipino. I am not. That's what I'm going to leave it there as, because uh, actually, I have some things in common with the, the main character. That's kind of weird. The second prompt is read a book featuring an Asian character or by an Asian author who you can relate to. I am going to be reading They Called Us Enemy by George Takei. Um, this is also going to be the book that I am reading or we are reading for the Sisterhood of the Traveling Books Club. This is a graphic novel and if you haven't heard me talk about it before, I'll talk about it briefly again and hopefully not go on a complete rant. This is George Takei's, I think it was his TED talk that they then turned into a graphic novel about his time in the Japanese internment camps and it has come to my attention fairly recently that some of y'all don't even fucking know about the Japanese internment camps and that pisses me off because, you know, literally I grew up with people who were interned in the camps. Lots of human rights things, uh, lots of cultural trauma that is just inherently embedded into our psyche now. Please go read this. It does have a more apt political point to things that we're dealing with in this day and age, um, but it's done in such a way and has such, I would say, simple but powerful imagery that I think you'll be able to relate to and understand the, the human side of that trauma. And the last one that I will be doing, because I will not be doing the group read, which is Little Fires Everywhere, the last prompt is read a book recommended by an Asian person. Because I am lazy slash really depressed right now, uh, I just took Cindy's recommendation and I'm going to be doing Severance by Ling Ma. Yes, Ling Ma. Again, it feels very timely right now with the virus stuff. So um, that is my stuff. The other half of this, I did want to recommend other books that I think are really good. Just generally, I know these are not necessarily by Asian authors or have Asian characters in them, but I recommend Vicious, absolutely. Please go read that book if you have not already. It was wonderful. According to uh, V.E. Schwab, it was a love letter to the relationship in Cowboy Bebop between Spike and Vicious, and I am so excited because that's one of my favorite things ever. So please go read Vicious. I also want to recommend for you, if you're looking for something that is by an Asian person about Asian people, and uh, something that I think is probably not up most people's alleys, but try it out anyway, is Kabuki Dancer. I feel if you liked Memoirs of a Geisha, not for the romance, but for the cultural aspects of it, you will like Kabuki Dancer. This is a fictionalized tale about the woman who uh, quote-unquote founded Japanese dance. It is a very dramatic tale. Um, I don't know if it really holds up. I read it a very long time ago, but I would recommend this. Absolutely. If you can find a copy, please, please go read that thing. Especially if you think that Memoirs of a Geisha was culturally accurate. 
Okay, thank you. Other things. Other things. Science fiction horror. Let's try that. Uh, Into the Drowning Deep. Please go read Into the Drowning Deep. One of my favorite books that I read last year, and it's completely surprised me. Science Look at Mermaids. I keep saying that because it really kind of is. Also, if you can get the audiobook, the audiobook was excellent for this. If you have a hard time with either multi-POV or if you have problems with interruptions uh, of like newspaper clips, clippings or quotes or whatever. Um, also a really good way to digest that sort of content because there are a lot of interruptions in the narrative to give you other information and it culminates to a really interesting, beautiful, very inclusive novel. Please go do those things. Believe that one of the characters is Pacific Islander and while we they are not the same as Asian. A lot of times we clump them all together. Um, so I believe you can use that for a book featuring an Asian character. I don't know how that goes exactly, but if you want to, I believe that you can. Um, I think that is all I'm going to recommend for right now. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already for content that will be similar but better than this. And yeah. I will see you in the next video. All right? Bye. She said it will never go away. I know there is nothing left to say. Can we try to hold on just for now? Even if we don't know how to show them what we're all about. Oh, oh, oh.